Hey Leo, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your June reading. We're going to be getting um, advice at the very end of the reading, so make sure you stick around to them. And in the meantime, if you'd like me to send you my prayers, my light, and I encourage everybody else to chip in, send theirs as well. Um, say hi in the comment section, send an emoji if you're shy. And I'm sealing this all, this space, this YouTube channel, this video with good energy with the intention that nothing negative will actually get in this space. Everybody is welcome. You're loved here. So, all right, let's get the energies at hand. We're only going to take the cards that flip out. You know the rules, you guys. We own, we don't force anything. The cards have to volunteer. And if they fly out in reverse, then we read them that way. Otherwise, they start out upright. The cards are like, nope, <laughs> you're done. You don't need a reading this month. You're all good. You know what you're doing. Um, all right, so we've got the fool. This something is brand new. You're on some new adventure. Now, whether that's work, whether that's play and love, we'll find out. We've got six of cups, something familiar. There's nostalgia pat attached to this. So history, experiences, this could be regarding um, people from your past, people that you're familiar with. The King of Cups, this could be a water sign. We're only getting kind of the foundation of your reading right now. We're gonna to need to unpack it. Um, anything else for our Leos in June? Our Leos in June, 2023. And flying out, it flies upside down. We've got the Page of Swords. Clarity, clarity on this page of swords. We're gonna go through and get clarity now. So it looks like you're kind of on a new, it's interesting, it's like the new and the old together. So there's something that you're familiar with. Um, something you're familiar with, but you're having a new adventure, a fresh start. Clarity on the Fool for our Leos. I think that you guys are gonna have a real centering of your confidence. Um, feeling very Leo. Uh, for June, going into July, I mean, it feels like you you might be like, ah, there I am, ambitious, driven, enjoying the limelight. If you're getting attention, you're going to thrive. You're going to do really well with it. Confidence is really coming across. This is your energy. So you are having a brand new experience. Who's the, What's the Six of Cups? This is simple joys of youth coming out. This is emotional recovery. So something attached to your youth, something attached with this very positive kindness, and um, you can trust this. It's helping you come out of a harder, a, an old heartbreak, an old disappointment, okay? King of Cups, who's this King of Cups? Now this could be a water sign or somebody who is just emotionally really evolved, somebody who's caring, compassionate, kind. We have two of Cups. Ow! Oh, I see. This is possibly a love interest. This is not just a love interest, though. This is like an amazing combination. Two of Cups is one of my favorite cards in the deck. I think this is even more favorite than the Lover's card because this is true partnership. This is equal give and take. This is equal compromise and understanding there. You guys, I feel like you're meeting somebody. Now, if you're not in a relationship and you're not looking for one, then this is your business partner, okay? This is some type of collaborative energy that's working with you. You guys are on a very new journey, coming out of a harder place, recovering, because you are, you're like just, you're back in the game. Like, you're being recognized, you're being seen, you found some, you're equal. Um, and it's amazing. It's like being around somebody who thinks you're funny and they laugh at all your jokes. You swear you're funnier around them, okay? You are more Leo. You are more confident. You are more fiery and ambitious and beautiful and and awesome, especially because this person see You've been that way the whole time, but there's been some hard shit that's happened this year. So, and possibly even the year before and the year before, either way, this person is a breath of fresh air because they emotionally, they're strong enough to support that. They don't need to compete with you. They can be like, cool, that's your groove. I got mine right here. We can run parallel with each other, you know? And that's the two of cups energy. That's that equality, support. And you could know this person. Um, it could feel like you've almost known them all your lives. Anything else we need to know? 
you know what it is, eight of pentacles, you know what it is to put a lot of work into something that was breaking your freaking heart. And maybe there was a little denial in the beginning just because you're like, if I work hard enough or if I do the right thing or if I, you know, I'm a fucking Leo, I can make this work. <laughs> I'm a Leo moon. I know. It's like, we've got that thing, that persistence that like, no, I'm not going to give up. No, I'm not going to give up. But this wasn't even, it wasn't within it was going to kill you. It was going to drive you down in the ground. It was going to drive, it was driving out your beautiful Leo energy. And that's why you're getting that reminder. This new bright adventure is like, ah, oh, yes. Now, oh man, I forgot this. I forgot that I'm the fucking sun. I'm the fucking sun. I want to repeat that over and over again, but it's going to be a really boring reading then. <laughs> so moving on. So you're getting a big reminder. You're getting back in the groove. Okay, so other people might say this is unorthodox. They might say um, you, you're moving too fast, you know, or they might say, hey, your approach to this is not traditional. It's, are you sure about that? It comes out like, oh, okay, are you sure? Are you, okay, have you thought about da, da, da? You know, that whole tone. So um, yeah. You're doing this unorthodox. You're doing this a little differently. Fuck them. Anything else Tara wants to say? I mean, this is like my fourth reading and I wasn't swearing <laughs> at all on the other ones, but my Leo moon's coming out, you know? And so I've got to just make things real bright and clear. Yeah. So this, what is this Knight of Wands? I want to know what, the, what is this Knight of Wands? What's this energy here? It's in, it's upside down. But then we got the Ten of Pentacles. Okie doke. There is an air sign here. There's a King of Swords. I got to just say, I got to represent the truth here. We got the Knight of Wands upside down. Okay, so there is a fire sign. There's a water sign, or excuse me, an air sign here. That doesn't have to mean crap. But there is a Ten of Pentacles. Very, very happy card. Big picture. So you know how they say timing is everything? Timing is everything. For some reason, the timing of this is interesting because one person is slightly, they're, they're coming in hot. And it could be you, you guys, coming in a little bit more impulsive than you normally would be. And I'm sorry if this is not replying to you. It's an energy here, okay? So somebody here is coming in hot. Um, they're a, maybe more impulsive than they normally would be. They might not have a strategy. They might just be going for it, which is why I was mentioning, hey, this is unorthodox. It could be for a slew of reasons. It could be what they're leaving behind, which is crap. And as they're starting to lighten up and feel good around this, this new energy, this new person, it's like, oh, I can't get far enough away fast enough. And it comes across as a little um, intense and unpredictable, okay? But then we've got this, this Ace of, excuse me, King of Swords, which does represent air, air sign qualities. This is uh, very intellectual. They're communicative. They need information. They don't fall back on emotion always. They don't trust emotion to fall back on. They're not going to put the weight on emotion. They need to put the weight on facts, on communication. Um, and they're very smart. Usually they're very, <laughs> I like how I say usually, what the hell? They're very smart. The King of Swords is... They're smart as a whip or sharp as a whip. That's the saying. Uh, ten, I know you're laughing at me right now. Um, ten of Pentacles. This is an okay combination. It's like it's going to be it's going to find its balance. It's going to find its groove, but it comes in hot. Very interesting. Okay, so you guys, let's get some advice for you. Advice for our Leos. What do they need to know? Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Advice for my Leos, what do they need to know? We have Four of Cups. Talk to me about the Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, I'll hold that up longer. Seven of Pentacles. This is like about you reap what you sow. How long is it going to take to reap what you sow? Coming out of anxiety, beautiful card. Nine of Swords when it's upside down. 
coming out of anxiety. This is a big, this is a big message and it's, it's a more dynamic and intricate. So I need to take a little bit of time. Be patient with me, y'all. Four of cups. What is this about? So you guys, by turning down one offer, you're getting your wish somewhere else. You're being seen. You're being seen. What is this seven of pentacles? Putting a lot of work into something, wondering if it'll pay off. Yeah, it does. In the next relationship, new love coming in. Nine of swords, knowing that you was not wasted. So that's what Tarot wants me to tell you, right? This is your advice. Consider this, gratitude. Even during the hard things, even all that work, like I was just talking about, Leos don't like to give up. There's this part of them that's like, but maybe there's one route I haven't tried. You, that was not all in vain. It was strengthening you. It was strengthening your communication skills, your intuition, your tolerance for certain things. It also showed you what you want and it also showed you what you're not willing to compromise on. And that, my friends, is a gift. So don't get hard on yourselves. When this new love comes in, feeling all the feels, don't get hard on yourselves. Say thank you. Thank you. That fucking sucked for a little while. Thank you. Nine of Swords coming out of this anxiety. You're coming out of that anxiety because you feel like you're in charge of your life again. You recognize yourself. And we've got our beautiful Queen of Cups. What does this Queen of Cups mean for our Leos? Ah, Queen of Cups. This is understanding. This is um, teamwork. I love this combination here. Now, this has a slightly different energy, and it feels like it could even be a, a counselor, a therapist, maybe a tarot reader. It could be a friend, but it's like that helping you get through it. So I feel like rather than tarot talking about you and this other individual, I feel like tarot is changing it up a little bit with this message and saying, um, hey, there's somebody here that really cares for you. There could be a water sign. Um, they're intuitive. They're emotional. They're very dialed in. They're, they're sensitive. They're kind. They're soft. Um, they could have some great support and they could be more supportive than you realize. They could come out of nowhere and, um, and be a great help in all of this. That's, that's what Tarot is saying. Um, with the moon card upside down, that's Piscean energy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a Pisces, but, um, whatever, they're going to appear. They're going to appear and they're going to help you out. So we've got love, we've got support, we've got excitement, new adventure, saying goodbye to the old, saying hello to the new. I'm very excited for you and uh, I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Say hi in the comments, subscribe, uh, hit the notifications bell when you, uh, to, in order to find out when the hell I'm going to do this again, <laughs> which will be soon. I got to stop swearing. Okay, bye.